When you want to save your toolpaths, it's very easy to do. What you need to select is toolpaths and then the very first icon is save toolpaths. This opens up the save toolpaths dialog box and it gives you all of the tools, all of the toolpaths that you've used in the right hand window. Now if you want to, you can move them over to the left so it doesn't save them. If you've got an automatic tool changer, then you need to make sure that you've got the correct tool number that corresponds with the tool in your carousel. If you've got a single headed machine, then what you need to do is to select save tool paths to separate files. So then what this will do, it will save each one of those to a separate file. You can also append the toolpath details to the file names. So that will basically add all of the information onto the file name. Select to browse and I can browse to my applique folder, give it a name, select open and that will basically save in that folder with that file name. Now the most important part of this is the machine file format. Now this is actually a converter. This converts all of the toolpath information into a format that your CNC machine or laser will understand. If you select the drop down, there are lots and lots of different converters or what we call post processors in this list. So come down, find the one that you want that will run your machine. Let's say for instance, We've got this iCarver, select save, and that will save the toolpaths. If we go into the folder that I've just saved them in, here you can see that I've got the three files. If I open one of them, just in WordPad or Notepad, you can see that it's just commands and coordinates, which basically just tell your CNC machine what to do, how to actually machine this part. What you need to do is put this on the USB drive or over the network, and then you can just run it and it will machine the part that you've just created in ArtCamp.